Hello, I'm Ian and in this video for beginner and improver woodworkers I'm going to show you how to improve the accuracy of your marking up to plus or minus about 0.1 of a millimetre and in American terms that's about four thousandths of an inch. Now it sounds unbelievable doesn't it but between us we'll be able to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it now. This is an exercise that I do with my weekend woodwork classes. And those two are designed for beginner and improver woodworkers like yourself. For it, you'll need a piece of plain two by two. You'll need a 300 millimeter steel rule, an engineer's tri-square, or if you haven't got that, some other tri-square, an HB pencil and a bench hook. And all the bench hook is, if you haven't come across it before, is a piece of flat material onto which have been screwed a couple of buttons, one on this side, one on the other side. And it fits into your workmate like that. And it's dead useful for sawing on. I make sure before I give the piece of wood to my course goers that one end of the piece of wood is dead square. And to test that out, you put a square against it to make sure in both directions you can't see any light underneath it. If you haven't got a piece of wood with a dead square end, then if you watch this video, you'll find out how you can create that, so don't worry. What we'll do first of all is to flush up the steel rule with the end of the piece of material. And your sense of touch is really sensitive so you'll be able to feel considerably less than 0.1 of a millimeter i reckon it goes down to about 0.01 of a millimeter your sense of touch much better than your eyesight and then you want to mark off the chosen measurement in my case because this piece of material is 170 millimeters long i'm going to make it 160. so with your steel roll parallel to the edge of your piece making sure that the end of the steel rule is as one with the squared end of the material. We're going to place a really sharp pencil exactly on 160 millimetres. And the way we're going to do that is to reference our hand against the material by putting two fingers on it like that. With our remaining fingers, we're going to then place that point exactly on 160. And if I move the steel rule up a little bit, you can see that mark is pretty good. So what I'll do now is to put my square onto the work, holding it, three fingers, one finger thumb, like that, so that you can pick the piece of wood up with the square. And I'll draw a line through that dot and check it. Really faint. Hairline. If you notice, I put the line just a whisker to the right hand side of the dot. It's not quite on it. So let's just check how accurate that is. Flushing it up again, making sure it's dead parallel to the workpiece. And although that I slightly misplaced that mark, I'd say if I was really brutal, that that's just a whisker underneath 160. Barely, but just a whisker. So what I'll do next, I'll take my marking knife and I'll place it just fractionally to the right of that line. Just a little bit like that. You can see the mark's just a little bit to the right there. And then I'll draw my line. I'll tilt the knife over a whisker so that it cuts right into that corner. And I'll draw my line. And now it's too late, it's permanently marked. Let's hope I've done it right, let's just check. And that's spot on, 160. 2.1 of a millimeter. And that's the way you have to do it. It's not that difficult, honestly. Now, having achieved that, 
what I need to do now is to square the line all the way around the work. So what I do is to ping that knife. Can you hear it click in there? I ping the knife in, bring the square up to it, take the line across, repeat the process, ping it in, tilting the knife so it's right into the corner of the square, holding the square properly, three fingers, one finger thumb, get the knife in and then bring it back to the beginning and providing the workpiece has got nice parallel sides that line will flow all the way around without a hiccup and there we go a squared up end that I can now saw well I really hope that you found that useful and if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up in the next video, I'll be talking to you about how to capitalize on the accuracy of the marking up we've just done by soaring to a similar degree of accuracy, i.e. 0.1 of a millimeter, 4,000th of an inch, that accurate. If you'd like to follow the series that I'm doing on basic woodworking, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. And if you'd like a synopsis of what I've covered during the videos in the series, I'll put a list of tips in the description section below, along with a list of tools that I've used together with their make and serial number or whatever. Well, I hope to see you in the next video. See you then.